Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the In Group in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for July 1st, 2022. Okay, a few pre-orders, some good restocks. It's a solid week. Still coming off of the, uh, you know, the lull of record store day as far as the release quantity. But this is the kind of, the time of the year, kind of the middle of the year, when we start to ramp into Christmas, to where the manufacturers are putting the wallet busters out. So... My phone blew up today, my emails blew up today, and my comments on the YouTube blew up today. Rolling Stones, mono box set. So, it was available for pre-order on a UK website. Thou shall not be named, because they're an evil, evil organization. But, uh, they essentially have it for an October release date. The Rolling Stones mono. It's not going to just be a restock of that. That was numbered to 10,000, came out in 2017. They made 10,000 of those. They're not just going to make a limited edition of 10,000 more. They could change things up. One of the things I think is the most likely scenario is they redo it as a color variant. If we see that as a color variant, that's going to open up the doors for, you know, other overpriced, secondary market things to come back as color variants. Maybe the Beatles mono box sets, they're both universal. There is no firm information on that anyways. You know, I checked uh, through all my portals, the ability, my distributors, labels. There's nothing as of now to indicate that that's happening. If it does happen and they do the Be excuse me, the Rolling Stones mono box set, I'll put it on the website for pre-order. If it is going to be in October, we're going to see something probably within a month, month and a half. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. They've already confirmed that they're coming out with Blue Note, uh, John Coltrane, Blue Train, Tone Poets. Kevin Gray, who cut it, said it was coming out in September, but there's no information anywhere on that. So we're a month behind that. It could theoretically be a month, month and a half before we hear anything. Okay. So if it exists, of course I'm going to have it. That's common sense, right? Uh, anything that's going for like a grand on the secondary, one like 1500-ish maybe at this point now. Uh, anything that's going for that kind of money on the secondary market, yeah, of course I'm going to bring that in. Four pre-orders to tell you guys about, technically two. Ozzy Osbourne's latest album, Patient Number 9. We've got the indie exclusive deluxe-ish version coming. That's a special color variant. It's including a comic book. Uh, and then we've got the standard black vinyl version coming out. That's uh, September 8th. So I've got that on the website right now for pre-order. Domi and J.D. Beck, not tight. I have no idea uh, what that is musically. But it was super popular. And, uh, you know, it's got a high, high count as far as, you know, uh, when I go on to some of the distributors' websites, I can sort by popularity. So the popularity is high. I have no clue what that is. Jack White's got another album coming out, Entering Heaven Alive. That's coming out July uh, 22nd. The Domi and J.D. Beck is on November 11th, so we're ways off on that. And this has actually been pretty hot so far. I put this up for pre-order, and there's been some action on it. Bob's Burgers, the movie, December 16th. So that's a Christmas release. All right. I'll start with, well, I'm going to start with the SACDs. Just, you know, I'll wait on the MoFi SACDs. We've got a big Analog Productions MoFi restock. I'll do that before I do the rest of the restocks. But let's talk about this week's new arrivals. Starting with the series that's actually quite good. I've got two of them, and I've got the rest coming later this week. From Music on Vinyl, a Neo Morricone. Now, this is a themes uh, record. I've got Western, I've got Passion, I think there's two more. There's like Psycho, and maybe there's a fourth, maybe there's a fifth one. I know I ordered a slew of these things. Uh, and They didn't all come in, so if I'm sold out, just put a restock notification, and I got a bunch more coming. So what it is, it's a Neo Morricone, in my opinion, the second greatest film scorer of all time, behind John Williams. Uh, every time I say that online, people disagree with me, but that's, uh, that's my opinion. Star Trek is the greatest film, excuse me, Star Wars is the greatest film score of all time. So if you scored that, you are the greatest film composer of, you know, of all time. That's, that's Mike at the Ingroves Logic. So, but I really, truly do love a Neo Morricone, and this is actually the best, I think, of the bunch, because this is uh, the Western theme. So, 
probably most known for his spaghetti westerns in the United States anyways, maybe overseas. I think he's pretty well known for his, you know, his more suspense crime related movies. But this is actually quite cool. There's only 1,500 of them. Limited edition to 1,500 numbered copies. This is on red and silver marbled vinyl. And of course, God, it, it really is an amazing soundtrack. But this has a huge chunk of uh, the Dollars trilogy on it, including uh, Ecstasy of Gold, which is unbelievably good. I would love, right before he died, I was really trying to take a trip to Italy to see him you know, perform live. I always, you know, and I just never had time to take off of work. And they were always in like small northern Italy cities. So it would have been something I would have had to fly into a major hub and rent a car. And it would have been a big ordeal for me. So I never did get to see him, you know, conduct. I would have loved to. I would have loved to have been able to see that live. But this is great. The Western theme. And then we have the passion theme. Oh, one of them is lounge. I think it's like lounge music, which is also another really good one. This is on passionate red and white marbled vinyl. And I mean, these are really nice. Uh, music on vinyl did a good job at these. Like if you look, this is a spot gloss glittered cover on the lips, you know, kind of like a lipstick. But uh, these are, these are fun. These are great comps. This is number 402. That was actually number 1200. But these are both numbered to 1500. So yeah, look for the whole series. The Steve Wilson remix, this is a restock. I got a couple of really popular, just a, a few. And I show them to you because this was really popular when it came out and it sold out right away. This is the Steve Wilson remix of Jethro Tull's Aqualong. Most people consider this superior than the original Flawed Master. So uh, this is quite good. This was a Start Your Ear Off Right limited title by Rhino, but they repressed it again and it's back in stock. Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits. I don't know why this was out of stock as long as it was, but, you know, I guess everything goes out. Rumors, Dark Side of the Moon, Led Zeppelin stuff. But we finally got these back in. Uh, so, yeah. Radiohead's uh, In Rainbows is coming back, too, later on this week. Put a restock notification in on that. That's one that everybody's been after. The soundtrack to Licorice Pizza. This was so popular. I think they put this back in print. I'm almost positive this was a one-time deal. And then they threw it back in print. Okay, new arrivals. I showed you the autograph, uh, excuse me, the autograph CD last week, which I still have some. I only tend to bring in autograph CDs. But Conan Gray, what's the name of this? Super Ache. Got the LP and I still have the autograph CDs. Some picture discs from Man for Man's Earth Band. This is Solar Flare. I've got... Messin. We've also got uh, Watch. I always like the artwork on actually both of these albums. Cool as picture discs. Okay, so this wasn't something I was familiar with, but I had to check it out, right? I get this in. It's from Mr. Bongo. It's in this heavy duty, thick cardboard cover, right? Beautiful tip on jacket. Mastered uh, Half Speed at Abbey Road Studios. This has a timeless South African jazz masterpiece. I'm like, I have never heard of this, <laughs> this masterpiece. What's this all about? And I, was, I started looking at the tracks, and there's like references to uh, jazz. Uh, God, who was it? It's covered by the uh, Obi, but it's like a mesh, maybe a message to Sh Wayne Schroeder or something of that, you know, that line. I got the Obi's in the way. But I sampled one track of this. There was only one track on, what was it, like Apple Music or something in the store. So I streamed the one track, and man, it was fantastic. This is really good, and it's super high quality. Uh, a lot of your South African stuff is not high quality. They're typically just rips. This, there's got to be a master tape floating around out there. This is exceptionally well done. I'm going to take this home and listen to it, because if, what is, what, what's online? You call, and again, the OB covers. That's the first track of the album. That was actually online. So you might be able to sample this on YouTube. But from how good the streaming sounded, I imagine this is going to be an amazing sounding record. I'm looking forward to it. I always like when I find these like obscure 
represses of albums that are, you know, you're never going to find anyways. Reggae Power. The Ethiopians. This is on Music on Vinyl. The Trojan series. Jack Johnson. Meet the Moonlight. I want to say this is clear via Milky Clear Indie Exclusive. Shine Down, Planet Zero. Did I show this last week? Maybe. I'm not sure. Man for Man's Earth Band. This is uh, the Roaring Silence. The Judds. The best of the Judds. We've got Iron Butterfly live in Copenhagen, 1971. And of course, Inagata DeVita is the entire side of side three. To the set, Guided by Voices, Tremblers, and Googles by Rank. We've got Frontline Assembly, the official Total Terror. Limited edition, newly remastered on red marbled vinyl. We've got Fleet Foxes, a very lonely solstice. This is the indie exclusive colored vinyl version. Here is another one that I actually have heard in the past, but there's clips of this on YouTube that sound horrible, but then I sampled this from uh, Acid Jazz directly, and it was a clean, maybe they found a tape for this as well. So this is Fairy the Jimmy, Rhythm Revolution. Funk from Benign. Let's see, this is recorded in response to the country's communist revolution. Fully licensed with in-depth liner notes, includes eight bonus tracks, from his singles release, I'm guessing he might have found they might have found the tapes, but this is just an absolute killer acid jazz, heavy guitar on track, super funky, really really good. I highly recommend this. This is another one I'm going to take home this week. I'm thinking these two jazz titles. Well, I know these two jazz titles are coming home with me. There was only one track of this to sample online, although it was good. It's not as good as some of the other tracks I found of this, but this is. Uh, and this is one of those albums I think if you find, it comes from a, I'm having a brain uh, fart here, it comes from, comes from South Africa and countries, you know, a little tiny country in South Africa. You're never going to find an original of this. And if you do, it's going to be absolutely whipped. It's going to skip nine times and it's going to cost you two grand. So that's the way you're going to get it. Great record. Naima, what is this? Naima Bach. Giant Palm. Yeah, when I was looking this up, I had to like, where it's, when it said where it was recorded, I'm like, where the, it's a tiny little country. I'm like, I don't even, never even heard of that country. Is this, does this even exist? But yeah. All right, Bad Brains. Indie exclusive, pressed on silver vinyl. Quickness. So this is by Org, uh, Orgy. They've gone ahead and reissued pretty much the whole Bad Brains catalog at this point. UB40, unprecedented. The brand new studio album. I thought this was a comp when I ordered it. On double 180 gram heavyweight vinyl. All right, so we've got a new UB40 record. Let's see, uh, no Neil Diamond covers on this. So lean on me, maybe a Bill Withers cover. Lonnie Liston Smith, Cosmic Funk, absolutely dynamite record. Let's see, the spiritual, funky masterpiece from 1974. This is a dynamite record. This is put out by Real Gone Music. Corrosion of Conformity by Music on Vinyl. Let's see, not a numbered edition. What's the name of this record? Uh, I've got no idea. Okay, the Black Keys, Dropout Boogie. XTC, this is white music. This is an import. Newly cut from Masters, approved by Andy Partridge. Press on 200 gram super heavyweight vinyl. So uh, yeah. 
Wild Style. This is also from Mr. Bongo, not the same heavy duty presentation as the other one. This is limited edition yellow vinyl. Steve Walsh. What is this? Glossoloya. Glossoloya? Yeah. Limited edition colored red vinyl. Feels almost like a triple disc, but I guess it's two. It's some heavy vinyl in here. Here's another one that uh, is going to be really good. Now, this one I haven't heard, but Numero does some killer stuff. And this is uh, Volta Jazz, Air Volta. Let's see. This looks good. So that's probably going to be the third record for me this week. I love it. I love when you see these jazz albums and you see all the, uh, the guitars on the front. I dig the funk jazz. Oh, we've got some more Numero titles in here. UK Subs, Reverse Engineering. This is on gold vinyl. Okay, so another Numero release. Okay, this is going to be an expensive week for me, too. Because I'm going to pick up this. This is an okra colored vinyl. Oh, come on, man. Okra. That's uh, probably the best color I've ever heard. Okra colored vinyl. Let's see. This is Le Super... The Jata Ban Du Mali and Super Forma Volume 1. Yes, on ochre colored vinyl. This uh, looks good. And we have the standard black vinyl version as well. Of the same album that I am not going to repeat twice. Seven Psalms by Nick Cave, 10 inch. Really nicely done. It's got this uh, foil textured cover. 10 inch. What in the world is this? Okay, a box set by. <laughs> what in the world is this? It's a what tan? What tan in the world is this? Okay. Trident Wolf Eclipse. This is some sort of a uh, box set of what I would assume to be Doom slash Sludge metal because of the uh, the artwork. Oh, I love this. His Master's Voice, classic, classical label. This is by His Master's Noise, huh? I think they should do instead of like a dog, which was their logo, they should put like a Rottweiler. That'd be kind of cool. This is limited to 3,000 copies. Okay. Mobile Fidelity, SACD, restock. I'll burn through these quick. A lot of these have been out of print, maybe came back, or they were thought to be out of print because they disappeared. Miles Davis's Milestones. Doobie Brothers Stampede, Miles Davis, Miles in the Sky. The Doobie Brothers, what were once vices are now habits. Uh, Billy the Kid, uh, Peck Garrett, uh, this is number 2500, Bob Dylan. Miles Davis, Bitches Brew, Miles Davis, Sorcerer. The Cars, Heartbeat City. Stevie Ray Vaughan, The Sky is Crying. And we've got Carly Simon's No Secrets. So... You can just select, if you're looking for Mobile Fidelity SACDs, you can just search MFSL SACD on the website or just SACD if you want to see the SACDs I have. Okay, so we got Derek and the Dominoes, Layla. The Eagles, Desperado. Hard to show that. Count Basie live at the Sands. Bob Dylan's greatest hits. Like, that's one that I thought was done. Grateful Dead, Working Man's Dead. We've got the, this is Lumber to 3000, the mono self-titled, Bob Dylan. And I got a couple of Analog Productions SACD restocks. LA Woman, 24 Carat Hits, and Roger Waters, Amused to Death. Don't like SACDs, really. I have a hundred, maybe a thousand of them. In case I, you know, maybe want them in the future. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a car with an SACD player in it. That would be better than, you know, the radio. But if I'm ever going to demo... An SACD. This is the one. This is an amazing SACD. Oh, and I got the Royal Ballet by Analog Productions as well. And I will show you the Analog Productions restock. Great title. One of the most expensive capital classical records of all time. Uh, Nathan Milstein's Masterpieces. One of uh, the greatest sounding RCA uh, living stereo classical titles. 
the uh, Magorski, The Power of the Orchestra. This is absolutely fantastic. I love this record. I've got it on uh, Analog Productions Reel to Reel as well. Getting some more of the Prestige, now 180 gram mono restocks, mono and stereo. Uh, the newest one, I think, is with the Red Garland Trio. They're putting all these back in print, and they're kind of trickling in and selling out and coming back and selling out. So if I don't have them, you can always put a restock notification in and get them. D11s in 10. This is part of the Stereo series, because I'm pretty sure this is the very first time this ever came out in stereo. Although it actually uh, doesn't allude to that on the cover. One of my favorite analog productions title and also on my list of top 100 imprint analog records you should own dusty in memphis dusty springfield one of the classical records i always start people off if they're like you know not classical it's not my thing i try to show them something that sounds good and it's something that they've heard a gazillion times and this is one of them gershwin's rhapsody in blue you've pretty much heard every single song on this many many times so that's uh, one of those classical records. Sounds great, and I start people off on. Willie Dixon's uh, with Memphis Slim. This was uh, originally on Bluesville, part of their Prestige series. Bluesville was a sub-label of Prestige. Great record. Really dynamite. I think that was a Van Gelder. I feel like this was a Van Gelder recording. Willie Nelson's first album, and then I wrote 45 RPM. So on the website, you can actually, sh not every label, but you can shop by label. I pretty much the audiophile label. So if you go shop by label, you can click Analog Productions. It'll pull up all the SACDs and vinyl. And now I have the ability to search uh, by things that are in stock. So if you click Availability, you can just search by what's in stock. Killer record, The Wonderful Sounds of Female Vocals. This is a demo record through and through. It's kind of like a greatest hits of what they've done female vocal-wise on the Analog Productions uh, catalog over time. They've got three of them. They've got The Wonderful Sounds of Christmas, which I play throughout the year. It's great. They've got The Wonderful Sounds of Female and Male Vocals. Those are the three that they have. But you can kind of see it's got a little bit of Dusty Springfield, Diana Krall, Patricia Barber, Nina Simone, Ricky Lee Jones, Shelby Lynn, Phoebe Snow, Ella Fitzgerald, Julie London. So... A great double disc comp. Ah, Tony Joe White, homemade ice cream, 45 RPM. Great record. Steppenwolf's. This is the 45 RPM version of their uh, greatest hits. And then, I don't know why I didn't show this at first, these technically are new arrivals. I've got the final two Steely Dam records, Everything Must Go and Two Against Nature. Really good. Did a little quick video on these last night. Sound great. Oh, here's a record that was like 200 bucks a little while back. Ry Cooter. A Meeting by the River. Water Lily Acoustics. And we've got the last record here as they're starting to put some of the older Ricky Lee Jones back in print. It's like this. So a decent amount of restocks this week, and I have a feeling there's a lot more stuff coming. Things have just been showing up late. I don't know what it is about the summertime, but that's the way it seems to go. Check us out online, theingroove.com. Until next time.